Hi Jehan, I'm making this quick screen recording uh, video to help you update the Excel sheet in a form of an online Google sheet. So even though I call it an Excel sheet, it's a Google sheet. So uh, this is the link. Hi Heidi. Okay, this is what uh, Heidi. I I think you already got the link and 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 the access of spreadsheet. So you just have to click on it every time you want to update. Just click on the link. Now here you can see this is raw data. You are updating it here, but this is not where it needs. I just kept it here. There is another tab which called data format. We have to come here. Now this is the format you need to be providing the. Uh, details so then it will go live now 54 into 90 mm square this is the size this is thickness so because we have three type of thickness for each size so first of all it's uh, uh, it has to be under various categories so in the green color you will see standard fridge magnet it's one category you can put all sizes here I have put four sizes because initially you provided data in this format up to here. I think these four or five rows. So I took that and put it here. I could see there were four sizes. So for each you provided uh, quanti price for various quantities but only for 0 0.4. I am not sure even if it was for 0 0.4 but I am assuming that it was for 0 0.4 mm. Now for other thickness also you need to provide prices. So 0 0.6 and 0. Point. So for example, for 0 0.6 price is let's say 85 for 100 quantity. You just update 85 here. You can just update uh, 105 here. And after every uh, this is done, you just have to press Control S in your computer. Normally, as you use to save the file, it will be saved. And you can uh, once you close this, then anyone who opens it will see this updated. Like I clicked on it again. I'll come here. I scroll down and then you'll see the data format tab. Come here. You can see these prices are updated here. So in a similar way, I'm deleting these. These ones are correct. The one for 0 0.4. You already updated and I took it from there. But if you want to change, you can directly change it. It's just uh, editing. You don't have to do anything. Just change the price and keep everything same. Now, obviously, if there are more sizes under standard fridge magnet, I took four. So you can just right click here let's say after this and insert row above one row second row third row so i inserted three rows and then selected these here and then used copy now i can simply come here and paste using Control v so it has been pasted now this needs to be deleted or changed basically you can say xyz price let's say i want to say xyz price here XYZ. Yeah. So it could be XYZ size, sorry, not XYZ type size. It could be any size. Now 0 0.468, this will remain the thickness. And this you need to remove because this you copied and then again put the prices for 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8 thickness. So this is for XYZ size. Similarly, next category, if if it is a particular type of category like standard will all come here then house shape magnet all sizes that comes under house shape will come here i already added uh, added three you can again add more by creating more rows from here just like the normal excel sheet then photo frame magnet i just added these dummy um, uh, rows one and two you can add more and if it doesn't apply you can delete or also if it is only one size in a one particular category calendar magnet, notepad magnet, whiteboard magnet and if there are more you can just copy this thing this green color bar here and copy these things as well and, and, and keep on inserting the new data once it's all finalized inserted by you then all you have to do is to just keep on updating price in future as well that's all that will be needed so for now I need a price for 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 for all the shapes in various categories uh, so it will be very crystal clear to everyone that which price applies to which quantity, which thickness, which size and which category. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot. Obviously after updating it just press Control S. Control S means save. Normal Excel as you save it. So it will get saved and you can close the window. Once you close the window, 
uh, I mean, it will be automatically saved and I'll be able to access it. I'm just deleting this additional one. So there is no, it's just did it for your delete rows for you to only test it. Now, whatever data here, it's all correct data. Further data you can increase. Thank you, Jan, and I hope you can now fix it.